Welcome to Layer of the Alchemist, where we discuss all things heavy metal and hard rock. On today's episode, let's discuss UFO and their album Lights Out. This is the sixth UFO studio album, and uh, it is actually the highest charting uh, album from them the, in the U.S. The album was released in 1977, and for me, this was my first UFO album. I actually had it on, on cassette, and I can't remember how I got it. I think I got it through through a record club, and it's, it's kind of an interesting way to come into UFO because uh, this album is very produced. It was produced by Ron Nevison, and there's a lot of uh, strings and stuff like that. The album, which isn't a bad thing, you know, the album has a real kind of warm sound to it. It's probably the most produced maybe out of all these 70s era Michael Schenker albums. And I remember at first being a little bit taken aback by that when I got this. I had heard of Michael Schenker. I think I actually might have also had uh, one of Michael's solo albums. But when I got this, I was sort of surprised at the string arrangements and sort of the way the production was on some of the things. And it took me a little while to get into it, you know, to get to get past some of that. It threw me off. I was expecting like, you know, heavy riffing guitar across across the whole thing. But it's it's an album that I quickly grew to love. And I do really, really like this record. And I like records that are really well produced. I've talked about uh, Bob Ezrin, how I like Bob Ezrin and what he brought to like Alice Cooper's Billion Dollar Babies or Kisses Destroyer. I like rock things where there's strings and horns and orchestral things to just sort of uh, supplement and add to the sound. And I think you have that kind of uh, all over this record. This is also the first record to feature, uh, UFO record to feature Paul Raymond on keyboards and rhythm guitar, which is, I actually never knew that fact until I was preparing for this. I thought he was in the band uh, earlier than this. I didn't realize, realize that. Of course, we've got Phil Moog. On vocals, I always loved his vocals and his lyrics. Michael Schenker, what's there to say about Michael Schenker? He's one of my favorite guitar players, and I think he sounds fantastic all over this record. Uh, Pete Way uh, on bass and Andy Parker on drums. It's got a cool Hypnosis album cover, something that UFO was, was doing at this time. And... Uh, it's just, it's, it's an overall, it's a cool, hard rock record with a lot of stuff that I can come back to this record. I think because of the production and the different strings and the different feels between these different songs, I can put headphones on with this record and come back to it and hear little things that I may have missed or not heard before. The album starts with Too Hot to Handle. Uh, this is a pretty straight ahead, hard rocker, uh, fun, cool. I, you hear this on the radio sometimes classic rock radio. And I remember, I think I was familiar with this song before I got the album. And when I heard this, this is kind of what I was expecting from the record and thinking that the whole record was going to be like this. And then the next song, Just Another Suicide. I, I like this song, but and this is one though that does have a lot of the strings in it. So that sort of threw me off guard when I first heard that when I was younger. Uh, but it's cool, you know, it adds to the lushness in the arrangement. I think Phil Mogg's uh, vocal delivery on this one is exceptional and it's it's very catchy. Uh, Try Me is a great ballad. Again, Phil Mogg shining here. The string arrangements adding, really carrying uh, most of the song here. Some subtle guitar work here from Michael Schenker with some beautiful melodies, something that I always say with Michael Schenker, he is like the king of melodic guitar playing and melodies in his solo. And he never sounds like he's just throwing his fingers all over the fingerboard. There's always melody, even when he's playing fast, there's, you can, you can hear the notes, there's melody inside there. So I, I, I love when he plays real simple, almost Eric Clapton-like, just sort of slow and melodic, bluesy bends and stuff like that. All right, and then uh, side one ends with Lights Out. Fantastic rocker, a signature UFO song, you know, right up there with Dr. Doctor. Uh, great, great hard rocking, if you want to call it. Proto heavy metal, I would not consider UFO to be a heavy metal band. They're a great hard rock band, in my opinion. But this song is a, is a great example of how UFO influenced 
a lot of the 80s metal bands because Lights Out is, is a great heavy rocker. You could call this one heavy metal, fantastic riffing, great chorus. Uh, I love the driving feel of it, and Shanker's playing is just is just off the charts. Okay, side two opens up with uh, "Getting Ready," and this one, it's okay. It's 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 not my favorite on the record. It's it's catchy. It's kind of there. It's kind of a mid tempo thing. And when you're coming off of something like "Lights Out," and you know things like "Too Hot to Handle," and even the great you know, ballad I mentioned, "Try Me," this one feels a little bit. It uh, doesn't live quite up to his, uh, those songs that came before it and some of the ones that are going to come after it. Alone Again or this is a cover by the band Love. This is probably my least favorite. It is my least favorite song on the album. I don't really like the verse in this. I don't like the feel. The melody is very sort of happy sounding. And I just, I've never been able to really fully get into this one. This is one where the strings make it sound almost sappy and silly to me. It just doesn't work. Okay, now here's where the last two songs on this record I absolutely adore. And I always think of these two sort of together. Electric Phase and Love to Love. I, I pun intended, love the groove in electric phase it is that that sort of driving uh, rhythm that that, that shanker is playing there on the riff and just the overall feel of it uh, his tone in his guitar solo it's like he's stepping on his wah-wah pedal to give it this real nasally mid-rangey tone love it fantastic and then when that goes into love to love I, that is one, again, pun intended, I love that song. It's one of my favorite hard rock songs of all time. It is so well written. It, the way it moves, that intro, that moody intro, the piano thing at the beginning, and the way the verses come in and they're so like uplifting. It's like the verse just sort of lifts itself up into like a major key. And the melody line is super catchy. I love Phil's vocal delivery on this. It is just fantastic. And the way this song, that that do da 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 that whole thing with that guitar melody is just absolutely fantastic. I love it. It's such a well-written song. And here, the strings and everything add a real depth to it and almost like a, a, an eerie ominous feel to parts of this song and it works really really well and it sort of reminds me a little bit of like Diary of a Madman with Ozzy the way the strings were put into that song this has a similar feel the strings give it this this ominous brooding uh vibe to it that, that I just love it's a fantastic song one of, it's my favorite UFO song one of my favorite Michael Schenker songs. It is it is just fantastic. And here the production just really makes it sound lush and big. Like there's just so much going on. And the way the song just ebbs and flows with the moods and the difference between the verses and the, that minor key riff. It's just fantastic. Love it. It's an awesome album closer. I don't know if I've ever done a video of my, my favorite album closers. This would definitely be on that list if I haven't made that video already. Okay, there you go. A, a discussion on UFO lights out. Let me know what you guys think of this record in the comments down below. Let me know if it threw you off a little bit, sort of the strings and the bigger production on this, what you think of that, if you like it, or if it threw you off like it did me in, in the beginning. Okay, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And until we see you again, make sure you rock hard, ride free.